Even though the possibility is there, there is no guarantee that either the lawmakers of the Senate or the lower house would get the chance to ask a former president about the alleged extrajudicial killings that happened during the time of the previous administration. In fact, a lawmaker even admits to not being that excited about the said possibility. Why? Mela Les Moras explains in this report. The House Squad Committee is eyeing to release a partial committee report about their initial findings on the war on illegal drugs and alleged extrajudicial killings during the previous administration. According to Quadcom lead chair Robert Ace Barbers, the report will include a recommendation to prosecute and file criminal charges against individuals who killed illegal drug suspects and personalities. Yung uh, tatlong Chinese na drug lords na napatay sa loob ng Dapicon, no? yung kas na nagbigay na testimonya na ang dalawang suspect, umamin, meron silang mga nabanggit doon, maaaring yan ang laman ng aming uh, report. No? Yung isa naman, itong kay Colonel Garba, no? na meron din siyang mga nabanggit at maaaring may, may sama na rin namin yan sa partial committee report. Kasi the partial committee report will now be the basis for DOJ or Office of the Ombudsman, kung ito ay mga kawani ng gobyerno, na magsimula ng kanilang investigation. Barbers confirmed that next week, the panel will hold two hearings to further scrutinize issues not only concerning EJ case and illegal drugs, but also in the issue of illegal pogos. The Quad Committee remains open to hearing the side of former President Rodrigo Duterte. However, if Duterte prefers to appear before the Senate, should a separate investigation proceed, the Quadcom has no issue with that. We respect kung ano man yung decision niya doon sa aming invitation. If he feels comfortable attending in the Senate, eh, at least ang objective ay mamimit natin na, na madinig din yung uh, pahayag o yung uh, panic ni, ni former president kung siya po ay attend. Ha? At ganoon din po sa ibang uh, resource persons. As for Senator Lisa Ontiveros, she said she's not eager to confront or question the former president should he indeed appear before the Senate. When asked why, she explained, Para sa akin, siya yung epitome ng uh, extrajudicial killings. Siya yung epitome ng war on drugs. And, uh, pero, di ba, kung, kung ayaw ko siyang matanong personally, uh, eh sino ba naman ako? Gra- mas grabe yung pakiramdam sigurado ko nung mga naulila talaga at nabalo ng uh, EJ case. Senator Bongo had previously stressed that former President Duterte's campaign against illegal drugs had supposedly brought positive results to the country and he also filed a resolution for this to be proved in the Senate. Senate President Francis Escudero assured that if their investigation proceeds, they will ensure it will be fair and impartial. One option they are considering is to let Senate Blue Ribbon Committee handle it, headed by Senator Pia Cayetano, because under the rules, the Blue Ribbon Committee can call for investigations like this. Another option is to assign it to the Senate Committee on Justice and Human Rights, headed by Senate Minority Leader Coco Pimentel. Melales Moras from the National TV Network for a new and better Philippines.